Hey guys, it's me again. So today is a yet another very quick dinner. So in this pot, which I have added water, salt and a spot of oil, I've got some pasta cooking. I'm going to cook it till it's just about done. So it has a bit of bite. Over here in this pan, we have some chicken cutlets that are frying on low heat until they get nice and golden. And then I'm going to drain them on uh, kitchen towels or tissue. They're almost done. The trick with cooking them covered on a low heat is that they get cooked from inside and you get a crisp outer coat. So that's almost done. Here in this pot, I have basic red sauce bubbling. I do it a little differently. So I've kept it vegetarian for starters. So it's got mushrooms. So normal your onions and garlic and you've got some pepper. And these are some herbs. So there's an oregano, there's basil, there's pepper powder and there's chili flakes. And I've kept this extra virgin olive oil to drizzle some on top to give that extra punch and that lovely aroma once the flame is off. I've got some basil here. This is the holy basil, which I'm going to put a bit in while cooking and some as a garnish. I don't like a very sour sauce. So along with the tomato, what I do add is some barbecue sauce and a little bit of port wine. So that balances the flavors really well. And you've got to give it some time to simmer. And that brings out the more intense flavors. So I'm going to come back once this is done to show you what it looks like plated. So I'm going to keep a bit of the pasta water in case I need to thin this out. And I always keep a glass of this pasta water in the fridge for any leftover pasta. So when you want to reheat the leftover pasta, just put a couple of spoons of this pasta water. It's starchy, it's thick and it's seasoned. So it's much better than adding regular water to heat your pasta. So this is bubbling nicely. The cutlets are done. And we are going to add some cheese here while the sauce is cooking. So the sauce itself gets cheesy. The thing with putting cheese only as a garnish is that only the top layer has cheese. So I like my sauce really cheesy. So I'm going to grate some cheese in while it's cooking. And I'm going to keep some to sprinkle on top as well. So some cheese is gone in. And you don't need fancy cheese. If you have Parmesan and cheddar, that's great. If you don't, you can use regular processed cheese. I don't believe that you need fancy or imported or expensive ingredients to eat mm -hmm. a good meal or to cook a good meal. Just use good quality stuff and put your heart and soul in it and you'll get a really good outcome. So the cheese is going to melt and it will add its saltiness. The sauce is almost ready and it's bubbling away. And here the pasta is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon the pasta directly into the sauce. So get yourself a really nice ladle. And the pasta still needs a wee bit of cooking which is why it's going to cook in the sauce which is why you need to leave it a little underdone and not overcook your pasta i'm going to save that water in case the sauce needs thinning however i like my sauce to coat the pasta i don't like a very thin sauce so i don't want too much sauce it's flavored really well so there you have it the pasta is in it's getting nicely stirred in with the lovely, lovely, robust flavored sauce. It has spice, it has a hint of sourness, it has a sweetness from the pot, it has the bite of the black pepper and chili flakes. It has got the aroma of fresh holy basil and dried basil. It's got dried oregano. It's basically a flavor bomb. Now I'm going to do a little bit of garnishing and then we're ready to plate. So here, here you have gorgeous crispy cutlets that are tender on the inside and a really flavorsome pasta in a red sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil, just a wee bit. This is extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on top. 
and then I have some freshly snipped basil that goes on and I love parsley in my pasta so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of dried parsley on the whole thing and now this is what it looks like and we are ready to eat again a very simple dinner but full of flavor and makes you feel really good I hope you like this and you can make this quick pasta in your kitchen at any point if it's too thick you can use the pasta water to thin it out keep tasting so that the seasoning is just right you like more spice add more pepper more chili flakes you like more depth add a little more sauce barbecue sauce if you don't like it sweet don't add the port wine you can pretty much make this up as you go along and you i've added mushrooms you can add baby corn you can add some boiled chicken in it you can slice up sausages and fry it and add that you can add some bacon you can add shrimps anything i like keeping it simple because it's something i can do quickly happy cooking